Yo, 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 what's up, people? Um, I was just thinking, as I was listening to the song Pork and Beans by Weezer, I remember there being a... Some girl, it just kind of shocked me when I heard this. I think it's probably the only time I've ever heard this, is the lead singer of uh, Weezer. His name is Rivers Cuomo. R-I-V-E-R-S, Rivers Cuomo. C-U-E-M-O, I think is how you spell his name. So go look him up. He's not a very big dude. He's got not like a deep voice. I mean, he's he's, he's not like a, a very masculine man. I wouldn't say he's effeminate, really. I would just say he's not like a, a big, burly, muscular, macho man. Um, and he's the lead singer of a band, a rock band, that's been around for 25 years or so, maybe more. Um, and... I just was thinking about how this girl told me that, oh, Rivers Cuomo is just so hot. Rivers Cuomo, he's the sexiest man. And in my head, I'm picturing this little little man who's, you know, not very masculine. Not like brutally masculine in your face or anything like that. Doesn't have any of these qualities that just like shout at you. Other than, I guess, his singing abilities and his guitar playing and him having been in... uh, Weezer for so long, and this this whole rant is just to say that it doesn't matter who you are or what you do, whether you kick ass at guitar, whether you make millions of dollars off the records you sell, or if you're just a simple person out in the crowd, everyone in the world will tell you that you can do what you want if you put your mind to it. It's a lie. Everyone tells you that you could become president, that you could start a business, that you could do this, that you could do that. And I get it. Those are extremes, huge extremes. I've started my own business, but I'm telling you, there's people out there who can't get away from their regular job. You know, there's people that can't get away from what they think that they deserve or what they feel they have earned. So if it's what you think you deserve, then you think that you've done something in order to achieve what has been given to you. Whether that's a negative thing, such as a mother telling her son, who she abuses, that he is worthless. He thinks that he's worthless and he is beaten by her because she tells him that he's worthless. So it's a cycle. When really it started with her. That boy is worth more than that woman could ever inflict damage upon. If, if she, if, if a, let's say a mom literally kills her kid from abuse... That kid, his life ends on this earth for now. And Christ, Christ is the purpose of all things. All things have come through Christ. So that made them matter in the first place that there was even life at all. And then they, there's nothing that returns to God except through Christ. And get it, get this, all things return to Christ. So back to Rivers Cuomo, who's, you know, not the manliest man. He's uh, he's part of a successful band. He's I say that because one, I like their music. Two, they have been uh, commercially successful for twenty. Well, I don't want to say twenty-two years. Probably since ninety-eight, ninety-seven. Um, so the the simplicity of Rivers Cuomo, small guy. I was just looking at him on, I think, the Blue Album, where he's wearing... uh, I was looking at what these guys were wearing. It was very funny. Um, The the guitarist and pianist dude, he was wearing a fedora with a black t-shirt and a v-neck gray sweater over top of that black uh, t-shirt with with a fucking fedora. And I was just like, this is 2005, if I ever saw 2005. Um... I saw Rivers Cuomo, he had a mustache, he had a nice button-up t-shirt on, tucked in, he had a fucking big-ass cowboy hat on, the drummer, I don't even remember what he looked like, he might have been looking at the ground, that dude's, Pat, Pat is the drummer, I think, and he, he's one of the most simple fucking dudes, like, he's always kind of just been the same looking dude, but he is so fucking good at drums, and then the the bass player, the most recent bass player, the guy who sings falsetto and all that, he was just wearing like a, I think like a Foo Fighters t-shirt and like some, some Ray-Bans, like some big trooper shades. Again, all of this to say, these this is probably one of the biggest group of goofy dudes you would ever run into that run one of the most successful bands that you might never guess. Like, 
people, I've had, I remember when I was, like, kind of first getting into Weezer, it was late as fuck, I mean, I've heard Weezer since I was a little kid, but, like, when I got into them was probably 2014 or 15 or something like that, and the amount of shit people talked about them, whenever I would bring up, yeah, I'm going to see Weezer, or, yeah, I'm, I'm listening to Weezer, it was amazing how much shit people would talk about a band that they didn't give a fuck about. So no matter what, Rivers Cuomo, like this girl was calling him sexy, he was getting publicity even on the negative side, which is still publicity. And just seeing the truth of the evangel of Christ through Paul, which is grace, we're we're saved in grace through the faith of Christ. Nothing that we can do can earn this. It's so simple. And yet, we know the most glorious truth that this whole world longs to know, that we are humans who have purpose and it's in Christ, through Christ, that we are connected to God. It blows my fucking mind to think that anyone tells you that, yeah, you could do it, you could become, you can overcome, you can, you are all you need to be. I don't know who it was that thought that that was a good idea, but I'm pretty sure that their life was golden from the get-go, and they just didn't know that it was fool's gold. Like, this rant might not make a lot of sense to a lot of people. I don't really care. I don't even really know where it's going, to be honest. Um, But I do know for a fact that Rivers Cuomo has a nice mustache on the Blue Album. Pretty sure it's the Blue Album. Not 100% positive it's the Blue Album. Again, um, that that guy could be a rock star, world famous, touring the world for 20-some-plus years of rock stardom. Um, and it all comes from God's will for their life. Like, they didn't set out thinking what they know now. They set out thinking maybe, you know, we want to sell out this venue. We're, we want to sell this many albums. I just want to make music that I love. I don't know the the passion that those dudes have for why they make their music. I mean, if you listen to their music, it's such a wide range of sound and um, emotion and uh, range of what they play, why they play it, how they play it, what instruments they play, what they sing, what they sing about, everything. Um, they're, they're just a fucking great rock band. Um, they've got like hair metal influences from their big guitar solos to their grooves to their licks. Um, down to they've just got basic rock. They've got they've got groovy bass lines, good singing. I mean, I'm, this is pretty much a Weezer endorsement video. But really, what I I wanted to say something right at the beginning, and I couldn't like sum up my thoughts by the time I actually got the camera rolling. Uh, so it, all of this is to say that I could talk for days and days and days about what Weezer is right now, and how big they are, and how a lot of the pop a lot of the world. Not a lot of the world. I'm say I'll say some of the world knows who they are. And if some of the world now knows who you are and you're a rock man, bro, you're fucking you're set. You're set. It's it's hard to make it out of a local scene or maybe even a regional district. So the fact that these people are on tour and it's their job to play the songs that they have written and composed. We're babbling idiots. We are heralding a truth that never leaves our mind. I'm sure that those guys, they think about music 24-7. That they think about music like they breathe. I'm pretty sure we're given more of a measure with the little bit of the spirit that we've been given to think about Christ non-fucking-stop. Every person we talk to, every human we run into, everything that comes on TV, every song that plays on our shuffle, every sign that we pass, every... uh, schoolyard that we drive by every everywhere we go in every sense that we are in every place that we will become and we taste and see and hear and touch and all of all of the sensations that we have physically and spiritually the whole fucking universe is going to know who you are because you are found in Christ and you are a believer now so all of creation has been saved by by Christ. But, well, I guess the, the te- technical way to say it is all of creation is 
saved by God through Christ. Christ is the image, the perfect image of God. The, sl- uh, the lamb slain before the disruption of the world. He is the... the, the there's so many names. I, mean, I can't think of what name to say to make this all just cling together. He is the lone begotten son of God. He is the perfect resemblance of God. He is the image of God. He's, he's the perfect image of God. The one living God. I'm not talking about the God of this world, Satan, the adversary. Satan is the antithesis of Christ. God made Christ so that he would shine all of the glories upon us as we are his body. Like, we shine because he shines. And he shines because his father loves him. He didn't earn that love. Yeah, he went and died on the cross, but that was for everyone else and even himself and even for... Not, not that his death pleased God, but that God would be trusted. God was believed by his son to be able to bring his son through the death that he put him into. That's like Rivers Cuomo. He has a little daughter, and I... Th- when I saw them live in like 2016, I think she might have been like four or three or four years old. She was playing piano with them on stage. It was fucking awesome. She had like face paint and everything. Um, she was just killing it, dude. And she's she's got to be seven, eight, or nine years old now. So imagine Rivers Cuomo, lead guitarist, lead singer of the band Weezer, W-E-E-Z-E-R, if you have never heard of them, look them up. They're pretty dope. Let's say that he gives the mic and the guitar to his daughter and trusts her completely to run the show. And she fucking kills it. Everyone loves it. He's not jealous in the sense that he is upset that his daughter got the spotlight. What he is, is he's ecstatic that his daughter trusted him enough and he trusted his daughter enough and that's the thing, just enough just enough trust to me, to know that it will go hopefully without hiccups you never know without, but with God everything is absolute, so what I'm saying about that is God God fully trusted his son in trusting him now, does that make sense? God fully trusted his son because God knows all. An absolute God relatively trusted his son. Relatively trusted his son. And I think because of that, which I don't have any scriptural backing to say that God relatively trusted his son. I'm just I'm just telling you. There was a the actual moment that Christ died, God was there with Christ. Even though Christ felt so betrayed because of the evil that was upon him, that he said, I think it was something like, Father God, why have you forsaken me? Which he didn't. God never forsook him. Never forsook his son. But that's how powerful the evil was that was upon him. Now, we are purely... We're not purely involved in an evil world. We're involved in an evil world that is so evil beyond our comprehension that it would be wrong for us to try to determine how evil this world is. It would be impossible for us to do it. But the beauty is that we know that God has willed that all creation be saved, especially believers. So because we know this now, because we know the truth early, and we live in the wicked eon that hated Christ so much that it fucking killed him, then we, too, endure evil because Christ did. They hated him, and they hate us because they hated him first. We will receive glory. We will be known. We will be more popular than Rivers Cuomo ever has been in this life. 
because we have suffered behind the curtains. There was no stage for us. Life is a stage to the celestial beings, to the angels that live up high, to the demonic beings, to the, to the, the celestials would be those in the heavens, which is the area that we are coming to that we will be bringing back to God as rulers and reigners in Christ, as Christ's. We are Christ's. That's, to someone who doesn't believe this truth and uh, will not believe this truth in, in this lifetime, that's pure heresy. To say that we are a Christ. I am a Christ. There's Christ Jesus, and then there's Christ Seth. And Seth maybe isn't my name in the oncoming eons or whenever God determines all that. I don't know. I don't, I'm not worried about any of that. I know that God gives new names to his creation when they're all back with him, I think. I think, maybe. Like, I don't even know. I don't really care. Um, someone else can comment and let me know if that's... You can let me know if that is what it is. So I'm just saying, we some rock stars, motherfuckers. We are some motherfucking rock stars. All I can think about is the body of Christ. It feels like we're just inching, inching, inching towards the end of days. Because the more you guys talk to me, the more pain I can hear in your voices. But, but, the, but the more peace I can sense in knowing that this all has to happen. Like, we all fucking hate this life. We all fucking hate this life. Um, but we love it. We love it because it is life. Just because there's death involved doesn't mean it needs to be hated. Um, I'm going to finally go inside. So, imagine... Imagine knowing that the, the suffering eventually does end. Like... It's like Rivers Cuomo trying to sell more records, and but he doesn't have to do anything for that to happen. Those are actually cool colors. That green and this tan. Hmm. It's cool colors. Yeah. Should go to my apartment. finish this up so pretty much there's no good way to say it you're a rock star you're a motherfucking rock star um you've got no reason to believe that you're a feigned believer you got no reason to believe that i did it tore at me for like a week it was hell i i thought you know what if i'm not actually a believer in the body of Christ, but I am excelling God's will through him working through me to at least progress the body, then I'll be a feigned believer, but I'm not. I know I'm not. I know you're not. I farted. I don't, I have no limit. I have no schedule to when I'm going to put these videos out. I'm just going to keep doing it and doing it and doing it. I'm supposed to be video chatting with Rob right now. I'm going to hit you up soon, buddy. Um, man, I just want to be gone with all you guys. So all I want is to be gone. Thank God I don't have anything holding me down here. Because it is just a crutch. I know some of you guys, like my dad, I mean, he's got a wife and kids and grandkids and a house and all these things. I guess people aren't things. I shouldn't say that. But he's ready to go. I don't even have a wife. I'm ready to go. I don't have kids. I'm ready to go. I'm ready to get the fuck out of here. Oh, very excited. Um, yeah. All right. 20 minute video. It's good. All for me to just say that we are rock stars and we are going to be known by all because Christ is known. 
Think of that. We suffered because Christ suffered, but we will be known because Christ is known. Ooh.